I would first of all I would like to thank you for giving us this opportunity and uh, getting associated with the college dunia for this interview sir and sir can you please give a brief introduction about yourself uh before i give my introduction i would like to thank you for uh, giving this opportunity to us because i have been following the college dunia and i know that there are several students who look upon college dunia dunia as a source of reliable information before they go for the mba program because i have been interacting with the students for a long time last 18 years recent years we have been seeing the influence of this because early it was not there so yet reliable source of information will help the students to take an informed decision in selecting the program in selecting the institution it's very important because that is a foundation for their life and future yes so i think college dunia is doing a good job in that so thank you for that second i would like to talk about the institution and before institution i would like to tell something about me i come from a technical background an engineering graduate with an mba and a phd in management with a fortunate uh, to attend the faculty development program at iim ahmedabad which was a very great learning experience for me come from the industry i worked with the cummins india group for uh, 20 years that gave me an opportunity to see the industry in india had been to more than 600 companies in my professional life of all various uh, sectors including naval project railways and things like that therefore that need for an industry exposure among the students and teachers is absolutely clear to me that's one then i joined the teaching profession in 2002 that is now 18 years now so i've been working for now 38 years in the 38 years you have seen transition in the society changes technology adaptation and today now we have come to online courses mm. class so three i have been uh, with the three management institutions as director head of the department or associate dean and here i am the director from july 1st this institution is a pride for me because i was alumni here in 1975 to 77 i did my pre degree here we are celebrating the 100th year of the establishment in 21 22 year in 1922 this institution started and the mba started 25 years back we are currently having the conclusion of the silver jubilee of the berkman's institute of management studies the parent institution is called saint berkman's college which has got 20 departments in pg 19 uh, 19 degree departments and a huge institution run by the archdiocese or the bishop of changanasheri so because value based education is the foundation of the institution the institution has a patron saint saint berkman's uh, people may be surprised to know that he died at the age of 22 a very young person who took a lot of initiative to learn he wanted to become a priest he wanted to study he walked from belgium to rome because at that age and he died at the age of 20 because of fever and later because of some problem but he because of his desire and the determination commitment to the course of education the purpose of education he was declared the saint in patron of the institution that is 100 years back there is one thing i talk with the pride because we as an institution are meant for shaping the youth it's an education institution with a purpose that students should realize that education is the foundation of their life and how they can contribute back to the society so a good educational culture is important so there is a role model here in front of you as a patron at the age of 22 to the age of the student here where you are recognized as one that's one and the coming to the objective of the mba program as i foresee we look at three c's c1 is concept means academic knowledge a person this is an academic institution fundamentally yes the student who goes out where he goes into the marketing profession hr or finance or operations or whatever field he opts to take the concepts of that area it should be thorough it's not only that my stream i should know i should have a cross functional knowledge exactly if you call a student of marketing and talk about the fundamental concepts of finance or my hr he should be able to talk about that with clarity and assurance and authority yes this is the foundation of an mba program one second you talk about competence we ultimately shape the people who run organizations you are going to guide people you are going to run organizations in a successful way contributing to the national economy 
as well as the well being of the people there and giving the returns to the investors who have shown their faith in you so the ability to communicate to think to take decisions to be fair in their dealings to work in team all these things that you call graduate attributes that an mba student shall it should be kept in, built in the person that two years is a transformation process an aspiring student comes into the campus and goes out fit to be taken by a company to work in a responsible position and we don't look at placement as a basic objective not only placement once you are placed how do you perform in that organization the competence and capabilities for being the best in the organization that is what is the objective of placement training or the mba that is point number 2 and as far as i look at the third c i look at character the student should be disciplined when you talk discipline it is not just a discipline of the institution but self discipline when i decide that i will get up at 6 o'clock i will do this work i get up at 6 and do the work when i say that this assignment is submitted at the age of i am at the time of 9 o'clock cut off 9 o'clock is my cut off if some that is number 1 the discipline of maintaining self decisions and operating it according to that plan second is a sense of quality now i say student if an assignment is submitted a teacher should not have an opportunity to put a red mark in that accurate information correct grammar correct punctuation right usage of words so every aspect of the work done by a student should speak quality because when you say that like when you are making a resume every word that is written must be understood internalized and should be made the sense of quality orientation then because what i because as i have been to interview several times and look at candidates what should i look from a candidate upon from a candidate so there are certain commitments certain culture certain sense of discipline some sense of quality a uh, focus so all these things should be imparted into the student in the system and Good, sir. above all a sense of character means we always say what is character what you do when you are not being watched is character when in front of people you behave in a very particular way you want to be gentle you want to be very well groomed and professional but when you are alone when your thoughts are yours how do you think how do you act are very critical so mba as a whole should lead to a shaping of a complete person exactly. that two years therefore we call in our terms a dedicated period where you look at the few not the two years that you are spending in an institution but look at the 40 or 45 years you are going to be productive to the society yes so there is our vision of an mba institution academics is important competency building is important and above all make a better person i said if i if a person does a proper mba program he will be well disciplined he will be mature in his dealing he will be patient he will be understanding the other person's view better and in the end he will be a better family man a better society man so this yes. why we should have a vision for the yes sir yes sir so this is what we look upon mba what we should deliver in this institution okay. with this objective only we are planning our programs okay so sir uh, being the director what is your leadership philosophy and how would you describe your leadership style number one is that i come from from a multinational company background and we work on speed we believe that no letter shall remain unanswered for a day 24 hours so speed of action is number one but of course we have a system collaboration and discussions are mandatory because see look educational institution is a place where it's a group of equals all are intellectually competent knowledgeable because we look at our faculty base there are 5 7 6 7 people with 20 years plus experience there are people with uh, uh, about 10 years experience mostly uh, we have seven of first and all i mean already phd and the six person seven people are in the process of phd means in another two years almost every faculty member will become a phd holder so academic learning is already there and uh, the people have come from good academic background and good teaching experience naturally we need to respect that there will be clear views for these people we need to assimilate that a collective and collaborative leadership and way of functioning definitely will give go a long way 
in establishing an institution for see we are looking at next 100 years i can say because as the institution is nearing 100 years now we should follow that 20 years five years from now what the institution should be and exactly. 100 years from now the institution should be there because uh, institutions are eternal it's supposed to be there forever yes sir so sir you have held key positions in education institutes throughout your professional career what are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector number one is that we have a lot of conferences participation in conferences and uh, meetings are definitely an opportunity for you to interact with the different people in the field learn from them. this is because it's all learning the one thing what you look at is because i worked 20 years in marketing the best thing I learned that when you move with the bigger people, I can classify say that there was the president of San Mark asked me, Mr. Raghavan, I'm giving by name, Mr. Grover, who was the vice president in Kesar Petro. When you move this, this type, our Ravi Vengadesh was the chairman in Cummins and later uh, uh, co-working chairman in Infosys, who was our chairman. This type of people, how they think, how they act. When we are with the mover, uh, work or learn about these people, we understand that we are nobody. Yeah. That humility is the foundation of leadership. And with that humility, when you start thinking, you are learners. You become perpetual learners. One of the biggest uh, opportunities that God gave me was to be a member of the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People training program at Tata Management Training Center in 1995. Mm. And so, okay. Okay, so where, how should look at it in the future? How you, beginning with the end in mind, what's the theme? So therefore, you get opportunity with the great people and you realize that you are small. Mm. And when from that small, when you start growing, you become a contributor. Sir, uh, what would you like people to know about your university they may not know? One thing that, see, we have not gone for much publicity after this, not as much of advertisement, only cash loan, because this is focused here. We never had a problem of admission because the students were coming. This is an institution run by camp, a church. The fees are very low, relatively much lower. But the institution is 100 year old. One thing I want to tell is that when you look at the value for money, we are at least 10 times better than many institutions. I can proudly say that because every student is respected as an individual. That's number one. We cater to a segment of the society which is not highly cosmopolitan. Mm. It's an ordinary group of people who come here. So it is shaping the average student to become better and the best. It's our duty. So objective number one, when we get an average student, how we can make him the best is a challenge and that is doing. Now, because we have got problems in communication. We have got an international exposure of the students is limited or cosmopolitan exposure is limited. So how do you build that is one thing. So therefore, what we offer is value for money, number one. Number two, second thing is a value-based institution. The behavior of the student, whether at the, the campus or outside or in the workplace, must be exemplary. So number the second student who come here will, we believe that will, on completion of the course, will become a better and different person. Good, sir. Who will be able to contribute as a mature person. That is a maturity creation is one of the objectives. Good, sir. Good. So, sir, being the director of this institute, how do you strategize about the key programs and plans for marketing of your administration for your college? Yeah. As I just mentioned, we have not gone for much uh, marketing so far. But we need to, because in the evolving times, we are focusing on one or two things. Number one. First is that accreditation, we have been planning, but we are starting the accreditation program. We will be going for NBA accreditation. For reason one, is that when you do a genuine, because I was involved with accreditation in an earlier institution, honestly, if you do the accreditation, it will improve the faculty, improve the student and improve the institution. It's definitely correct. But it's not be cooked up that. It should be earned points in the, uh, the evaluation. Yes. So that is the first thing. Accreditation can contribute to a real institution building. So we are doing that, number one. Second, is that we have a lot of industry interactions already there, but which has not been publicized much. We want to go on more into the industry. We are taking up all membership of all the associations like we have already. Kerala Management Association is here. Uh, Thai is there. The, in, in the US Entrepreneur is there. That the Confederation is there. And uh, 
all the professional bodies like nipm we want our students to be members of all these things our teachers to be members of all these things third we want like our st- teachers and faculty students to go to the conferences and other institutions become they should expose themselves we always say what you should do learning is two times number what you should do and second what you should not do when you go out and see things you learn both what should be repeat uh, what should be done in our institution what things we should avoid these are all learning and second so therefore using our students to get involved in social projects using our students for teams to get involved in different activities participating all major events of the state which cover mba students participations are possible and our teachers getting into more and more consulting and research activities publication and conferences these are things that we will definitely do in the next a few years and which will become a part of the institution culture which is already there but we need to work more on that mm. because we have taken consultancy work in the past we have been publishing papers but we need to increase that exactly so a drastic growth in the area is there and students involvement in the activities because we have we give certain uh, entrepreneurship awards here best entrepreneur of the state alumni entrepreneurs then you have business plan contest in the addition to the student program institution runs programs are there where student teams also work so end of the day students should learn by doing so even the placement training program we are formulating with that teams getting involved with the support of the institution therefore so sense of belonging will be more when i as a student get involved yes you yes, are saying that is what we are doing which will over a period of time should lead to better visibility better uh, opportunities for our students and definitely the conference that i am proud of my institution that good sense of belonging is to be created good sir good so sir like uh, uh, any insights on how your university could be more welcoming to students of different races or economic backgrounds correct right. felt as a, today presently our uh, institution has students from kerala and uh, some students of come from parent families who are settled outside the kerala we are uh, thinking of widening this we need to go to other states we are trying to we would like to attract other states because we are building a new campus another 2 3 years time we will be moving to a better and different campus where students will be having more space for interactions and the things that so infrastructure building is one of the objective students we have hostel facility for all two considerations are right now in front of us that's number one is getting more students from outside the state other universities number two they are in the weighing the possibility of getting students from abroad so university has a scheme we are evaluating the possibility whether we should go this year or go in the, definitely in the short run itself we will be doing that so that will bring a cosmopolitan culture to our multi cultural environment ethnic environment to this campus because having the opportunity to study in nit and then i all these things i believe that when you are with the other state students you become more adaptive yes students can work better in other states so that is one thing we have secondly about the educational background the institution provides a lot of financial support to students wherever students come with a genuine concern we are very very considerate to the students so as i said the fees are very nominal compared to other major institutions and within that what best can be given but at the same time our management with a clear vision has it's not running it as a profit institution it's a uh, institution which is supposed to cater to the needy the intelligent and smart willing to work category of people that people Good. for them money or fee is not a major concern the lot of scholarship lot of financial support is being extended to students good sir good so sir like i would like to ask you a final question like uh, are there any suggestions from your side you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students ah to the aspiring student because i uh mean my with uh, nearly 30 and 40 years of my experience in working in the industry as well as in the education field number one our students have great lot of aspirations and expectations especially when you are coming to a course like mba statement number one i would like to make to understood is deserve before you desire we have a desire we want to work in big companies when you ask what is your career objective i want to work in a good position in a multinational company now the question is what makes a good company 
good company is made of good people question to you self are you good are you knowledgeable are you competent are you willing to work are you an adaptive person to any situation and requirement of work this question should be answered self so deserve before it sir second be f- one big learning i had in my organization comins india group is be fair but firm means before you take decisions take informed decisions consider multiple perspective the views of the stakeholders in that and the concerns of the other people but once you take a decision stick with the decision don't waver so once you if you decide to go for a course if you decide especially it's applicable to students who are looking for a job students jump keep jumping it's not a see many people say that i am getting new experience not necessarily if you are joining an organization that organization is counting on you to build that and spend lot of efforts to build you and you need 2 3 years time to pick up that work so keeping on shifting from one organization to another is because you did not do the initial thinking adequately when you are applying for a job or you deciding what type of field you should select learn about that if i want to build a career in marketing say advertising or in digital marketing i must have a thorough understanding of the market i must have a understanding of the digital organizations type of job i should understand what type i should make a plan this is what i want to do i want to be a business development manager in a uh, consulting company or uh, i mean a technical company so what is the job profile what skills and competencies are demanded by that job where do i stand in that do i make a fit our am i a square peg in a round hole do i make a round hole to see a vacuum or gap is not there so this evaluation based on market knowledge and self understanding will help you to select a better job or the right job because companies are not looking for the brightest people they are looking for the right people as a person was involved in several interviews i can always say that he never took the some there are occasions where did not we decided not to take the best people the so called claimed people but we are going for a person who will adapt and work with other people because organizations run not by individuals but by teams so students who are going into profession going into mba keep in mind whenever you say that i have a desire this is what i want the counter question you ask is how am i deserving that second when i said i am going to apply for take this profession i want to work in this type of company ask this question how much do i know about that what skills have i built for that and how can i be the right candidate for that this is my truth and third be value based money is only one return that you will get satisfaction career building knowledge and the self satisfaction so all part of your long term your part should be the long uh, should be the part of your long term life goals money will come it's needed see always say who is poor i have 1000 rupees income and uh, 500 rupees expenditure i am rich because i got 500 rupees surplus now 10000 rupees income but 20000 rupees expenditure i am poor because i am not able to meet my need so when my needs are controlled my expectation my income will become second so therefore look at organizations which are ethical which are value based which are employee friendly society friendly or you are talking about social marketing today and then identify that companies and decide from beginning if i want to be there 2 years from now that's beginning with edit mind 2 years from now when i go to that organization work there what all things will be needed for me to be a good performer a genuine contributor i build that i must have a strategic plan for 2 years to build that so 2 years of mba that is to be planned with that long term objective of getting into the right organization and being a right employee in that good employee in that organization this is that is plan your goals with the end in mind so placement training or the third semester is not the time for your placement placement training starts on the day you join the program good sir for the placement or the good sir and thank you so much for your uh, time and thank you so much for this interview sir and it was a very value valuable interview and uh, thank you sir
I would like to end this call. Yeah. Thank you, Ashwant. Thank you, thank so you, sir. So it was an opportunity. It was an opportunity to share some thoughts. Yes, random sir. thoughts you can say should not work from their brain alone. You need to work from your heart. In front of you is another person, and that person is being developed. And I am the teacher who will develop that person. So a teacher's role is to communicate from the heart to the heart.